Hello everyone, welcome back to another VTOL VR tutorial. Today, we're in the new update, and it is foggy. The weather looks great, I'm really excited about it, but having fog can add some challenges, specifically when it comes to carrier landings. So today, I'm going to show you how to use the new ILS feature to land on the carrier, even when you have limited visibility. So to do an ILS landing, you need to pay attention to this right here. This is your instrument display, normally used as a compass, in this case, it's actually going to be used to help you line up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is tune your ILS and LSO frequencies to that of the carrier. You can do that by going to comms, ATC, find the carrier you want to land on, in my case the USS Lincoln, and go to info. And it has your ILS frequency and your LSO frequency. You take that information and you come up to this panel right here. So first we'll do ILS. So you click on ILS and do 1071, enter because that is the frequency we have down here. Next, we'll do radio. To do that, you set your standby frequency first, and the LSO frequency is 2844. Enter. You'll see over here that we've just set our standby frequency to 2844. We need that to be our primary frequency if we're going to actually listen and communicate with this LSO. You do that by just pressing the 1 to swap them. So while this looks complex, reading it is actually pretty simple. The yellow line across the horizontal here tells you if you're high or if you're low. If it is below you, you need to go down. The orange one will first tell you your compass, so I need to go lined up with this arrow to be pointed at my carrier. But then this orange line over here, if it's to the left, I need to go left. So I'm going to cut a hard left here and go down and see if I can't get all these lined up. All right, there we go. We are about um, oh, too far down. We're going to stay going hard left here until this orange line comes in on us. Okay, let's turn in, try to line that up. Passed it a little bit, but that's all right. We'll come back around for it. Okay, I've got my trajectory lined up horizontally. We'll move a little bit to the right to push that orange line in. We are lined up with the orange one. Let's bring that in a little bit to actually point at the carrier. And then we'll descend a little bit. Coming in a little fast, we'll slow down. Go ahead and drop our gear and our hook. We're now about lined up. So using this here, I can see that I'm a little high when you come down a little bit. But I am, for the most part, lined up with the carrier runway. Based on the based on the orange trajectory here. All right, line up. We're a little bit left. Let's move to the right. We are online. Speed is good. Let's actually increase that a little bit. Okay, we are lined up, nice and pretty. Ready for lineup. Okay, a little bit to the right. Ready for lineup. Power. Ready for lineup. Ready for lineup. Wave off, wave off. One wire. Welcome back. And that's all there is to it. You can use the ILS to help you stay lined up so when you're operating low visibility under fog or in a storm, you can land on that carrier without a problem. 